Welcome to Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to calculate moving average using DAX functions in Power BI. In this sales table, we have two columns. First column contains the month numbers and second column contains the sales on each month. For calculating moving average, we need proper date column in source. But in our source data, we don't have proper date column. We have only month numbers. So we will create a separate date table using this month column. To create the date column, select new column from table tools tab. We have named this new calculated column as full date. Then we use date DAX function to create a date using the month column. In year parameter, we entered 2023 to get the full date for all the months in 2023. In month parameter of date DAX function, we select month column from sales table and in day parameter of date DAX, we put one and close the parenthesis of date DAX function. We got new calculated column full date with date, month and year. Now we can easily calculate the moving average using this full date column. For that, we will create a new measure for calculating moving averages. Select new measure from table tools tab. We have named this new measure as three months moving average because we are going to calculate the moving averages for every three months. We use calculate DAX function to calculate the moving averages for three months. In expression parameter of calculate DAX, we use average X DAX function. We selected sales table for table parameter in average X DAX and selected sales column from sales table to get the average sales. The average X function enables you to evaluate expressions for each row of a table and then take the resulting set of values and calculate its arithmetic mean. Therefore, the function takes a table as its first argument and an expression as the second argument. In filter parameter of calculate DAX function, we use dates in period DAX to return a table that contains a column of dates that begins with a specified start date and continues for the specified number and type of date intervals. In date parameter of dates in period, we have selected full date calculated column. In start date parameter of dates in period, we use last date DAX function to get last date from the full date calculated column. In number of intervals parameter, we put minus three to get the moving average sales for every three months. In interval parameter, we select month because in this example, we are calculating the moving average for months. If you are trying to calculate moving average for years, then you can select years. Close the parenthesis of all DAX functions. To see the result of the calculated measure, 
we have created a table visual in Power BI Desktop. In third column, we can see the moving average for every three months. First two rows results will be different, but remaining rows are providing the correct results. That's it. We have successfully calculated the three months moving average using DAX functions in Power BI. If this video helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions and share your feedback in below comment section. To watch more videos like this, visit our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.